You're now connected to the meeting. Please state your name for the record. You may start your comments now. You need to turn down the volume on the device that you're viewing the meeting. Yes, this is Marjorie Michaels again. And um, I would like to remind everyone in the community that two weeks from now, on July 27th, there will be a public hearing on the question of whether the city will put the Memorial Park sale on the November ballot. We, the people of this community, have the opportunity to halt that whole flawed process if two council people will vote against the park cell resolution. It takes a two-thirds vote to put that measure on the ballot and overcome the protest of us citizens. So I ask you please to register your protest and opposition to the sale of the park and expenditure of funds for election at which the hospital will no doubt pour great sums of money to try to win in that election. Go to the following website, www.people4uplandparks.com for information on how you out there in the community can help save our park and participate in the protest hearing. And please call your council people especially Janice Elliott and, and Rudy Zuniga, who were both elected upon their promises to support the park and not sell it off for development. Mayor Debbie is a lost cause. She voted on this fraudulent scheme from the beginning, and Mr. Velto, with illusions of being mayor, is unlikely to have the time to oppose, quote, our largest employer, unquote, in support of the residents of Upland who use our park and the wildlife and animals who survived there. At that last council meeting, when the hospital's interim CEO spoke, he showed the truth of their plans for our park, which is to build more professional and office buildings and concrete and a power plant expansion, and with no disclosure of what they're gonna do with all the hospital waste. All of this is being done without any environmental review yet, and with the city lacking a specific plan. Is the plan to just let the hospital gobble up any land they want in that residential and park area? Didn't the city require parking plans just like they do with all developments according to the law when they approved that huge tower at the hospital and the City of Hope Cancer Building? Or was the secret plan always to just slip through the cell of the park without the people even knowing what they were doing and just doing that awful validation action? where the city sued all of us and required that we, the people, fork over money to go to court. We, the people, did prevail in that action. Thank but you, Marjorie. Your time is up. Time. You're now connected to the meeting. Please state your name for the record. You may start your time now. Good evening. My name is Natasha Walton. I'm a 16-year resident of Upland. I'd like to remind everyone that in two weeks at 7 p.m. on Monday, July 27th, there will be a public hearing at City Hall on the resolution to discontinue use and sell 4.6 acres of Upland Memorial Park to San Antonio Hospital. Boo. For more information on this issue and how to get involved to help stop the sale, please visit People for Upland Parks on Facebook or at www.peoplesforuplandparks.com. Dear City Council, if you vote in favor of the resolution to discontinue use of Upland Memorial Park land, you will be making a de facto endorsement of this parkland sale and the current sale contract. You cannot hide behind the guise of, oh, but I just want the residents to make the decision for us. The whole point of California law that protects parkland is to provide added protection to the sale of parkland so that a city council cannot just sell land on a whim like Mayor Stone and the old council tried to do in March of 2018. By voting in favor of this parkland sale resolution, you will be telling the community that this is the only option that the hospital has to expand their facility and parking, even though other options have not been publicly explored and presented. You would be telling the community that our parkland has a price tag of $4.62 million as the, currently, the contract currently stands, and thus is not a priceless commodity as many in the, this community believe. You would be telling the community that it is okay for the hospital to expand at its current location and to expect the residents surrounding the hospital to, to absorb the environmental impacts of added traffic, 
a power plant, more air pollution, and loss of parkland before an environmental evaluation has even been carried out. You would be telling the community, particularly District 4, that Upland does not deserve the amount of parkland that we currently have and that we have to accept the impact of various newly approved highly high-density housing developments while the city decreases the amount of public park space. You would be telling the community that a hospital and a park cannot possibly coexist and both or both cannot improve the quality of life in Upland. That one entity, entity must be sacrificed for the other, which is absolutely false. Council Member Zuniga, by voting the sale forward to an election, you would not only be endorsing the sale, but you would be forfeiting the whole point of having district elections and district representatives. You know full well that the voters of Northern Upland have disproportionately dictated what occurs in the southern part of Upland for many years, and that many of them probably don't see Memorial Park as their park like the residents of District 4 do. Are you, are you not going to fight for the needs of District 4 when you finally have the chance? Your vote as a District 4 council member is to help give more power to the voice of the residents in our part of Upland. Yes, Mr. Zuniga, an election is required by law before a city parkland can be sold, but there is no law saying that the city must consider selling its parkland to any entity, even a hospital. The current park contract does not require the city to move forward with an election to sell the park, so if the park hospital wants it, let them put the sale on the ballot themselves after the pandemic has subsided. The park will still be there. Many people voted for you, like myself, on the premise that you would fight for our park, so we are counting on you to do so. Please do so. In addition, how does it... Well, the, the Thank you, Natasha. Your time is, is up. That was our final speaker this evening. All right. Thank you very much.